Francesco Totti, Officiello MRI, is an Italian footballer who is the captain of Serie A club Roma. His primary position is that of a triquetista, though he has also been successfully utilized as a lone striker. Totti has spent his entire career at Roma, is the number one goal scorer and the most capped player in the club's history. He is considered to be one of the greatest players of his generation, and also as Roma's greatest player ever. He holds the record for having won 11 Oscar del Calcio AIC, including five Italian Footballer of the Year awards, two Serie A Footballer of the Year awards, two Serie A Goal of the Year awards, one Serie A Goal Scorer of the Year award and one Serie A Young Footballer of the Year award. A 2006 World Cup winner and Euro 2000 finalist, Totti was selected in the All-Star team for both tournaments. He has won many individual awards but the most important ones are the Golden Shoe and the Golden Foot. He was named in the FIFA 100, a list of the 125 greatest living footballers selected by Pella Copyright as a part of FIFA centenary celebrations. In 2011, Totti has been recognized by IFFHS as the most popular footballer in Europe. Often referred to as Il Bimbo d'Oro, Il Re di Roma, a Pupone, and Il Gladiator by the Italian sports media, Totti is currently the top active Serie A goal scorer and second all-time in league history with 235 goals. Early career, Totti was born in Rome, to parents Lorenzo and Farella Totti. He was raised in Porta Matronia neighborhood. He idolized ex-Roma captain Giuseppe Giannini and regularly played football with older boys. Totti began to play youth team football at the age of eight, with Fortitudo, then he joined Smith Trastevia and Ludigiani. After coming to the attention of scouts, his mother refused a lucrative offer from AC Milan to remain in his hometown, and he joined the Roma youth squad in 1989. Club career, early seasons, after three years on the youth team. Totti made his first appearance for Roma's senior side at the age of 16, when coach Fujidin Boakov let him play in the 2 Euro 0 away victory against Brescia on March 28, 1993. In the following season under Carlo Mazzan, Totti began to play more games and scored his first goal on September 4, 1994 in a 1 Euro 1 draw against Foggia. By 1995, Totti had become a regular in Roma's starting lineup and scored 16 goals in the next three seasons. He always publicly praised Mazzun for helping him become a good footballer. After Mazzun left Roma, Totti also worked with Carlos Biancai and a short spell with a club legendary coach Nils Liedham. Zeman's first spell, the years with Zeman represented for Totti a maturation period of mental and physical health. From the point of view of technical and tactical, he proved to be compatible in the rigid schemes of the coach Bohemian. He also became physically more powerful and complete. On the mental side and charismatic, he played a role of greater responsibility in the AS Roma and the team invested him of the shirt number 10. The first season started well, and Totti took advantage of the 4-3-3 formation for making as many goals as possible and serve assists for his teammates. On November 9, 1997 he scored his first two goals in the same match of Syria, against Bari, confirming of be one of the positive surprises of the championship. In addition, some critics began to suggest Totti at the coach of the national Ser Maldini for the 1998 World Cup in France. It was in general of an excellent start to the season, compromised on December 14, 1997 when the challenge against Inter is resolved with a 3-0 defeat and an expulsion of Totti. The abstinence of the goal, initiated by the previous defeat, is interrupted in a 2-0 win against Napoli on February 22, 1998. From that match at the end of the season, Totti realized eight goals and he contributed to the fourth place of the Roma. The following season began with the victory of the Corindoro 1997-1998, for his performance in the course of the last championship of Serie A. At age 21, Totti assumed the team captaincy in 1998 and began to gain recognition as a club symbol. He scored 30 goals during Zeman's two-year managerial stint. Though Totti was not called up for the 1998 FIFA World Cup, he was named the Serie A Young Footballer of the Year in the 1998-Euro 99 season. 
Capello and the 2001 Scudetto. By the 2000 Euro 01 campaign, Roma, then helmed by Fabio Capello, was building a competitive team around Totti, who had started to play as Triquetista to take advantage of his passing skills. In this season, making his debut at home against Bologna, Totti scored and brought the team to a 2-0 win. Another match to remember is that against Udinese, where Totti scored with a powerful left-footed volley. He confirmed his moment of form by scoring against Napoli at home, in a 3-0 win. The Gila Rossi continued their march towards the Scudetto dragged by his captain, keeping reassuring advantages than their rivals. On June 17, 2001, in an Stadio Olimpico that record sold out, Roma beat 3-1 Parma thanks to goals by Totti, Montella and Battistuta, result with which Roma is crown champion of Italy. On August 19, 2001 Totti won his first Supercoppa Italiana, scoring the definitive 3-0 against Fiorentina. Totti was named the Italian Footballer of the Year for 2000 and 2001. He received his first Ballon d'Or nomination in 2000, finishing 14th in the voting and 5th the following year. He had also become a widely recognized idol of the supporters, who were able to identify with Totti's background as a lifelong Roma supporter and Rome native and also his prowess on the pitch. In the following seasons, Totti played a second striker as part of a 3 Euro 5 Euro 2 formation and scored his first hat-trick in Syria which will serve to beat Brescia 3-2. Also, he put the signature decisive in the victory at the Bernabe copyright U against Real Madrid, on October 30, 2002, after 35 years since the last success of an Italian team at Madrid. He is repeated against Valencia, where he realized two goals in the 3-0 final. Despite this, Roma ended in third place in their group of Champions League and in eighth position in Serie A in the Coppa Italia final against AC Milan. Totti scored three times on a free kick, but Roma lost 1 4 at home and drew 2 2 at San Siro. In 2003, still receives two more Oscars for Best Football AIC and How Best Italian Player Ever. In the 2003 2004 season, Totti and his Roma were the protagonists of the run-up to AC Milan for the Scudetto, and then failed. Throughout the league he realized 20 goals, his personal record, that allowed him to winning his second Grandoro. In addition, the Roma captain performed more times the goal to spoon. Despite a disappointing 2004 Euro 05 season that saw Capello leave for Juventus and Roma slipped to eighth place while making four coaching changes during the course of the season including Ser Prandelli, Rudy Bar Paragraph Lair, Luigi Denari and Bruno Conti, Totti maintained his consistent offensive output by scoring 15 goals, among them his 100th Serie A goal against Internazionale, on October 3, 2004, with a beautiful free kick from 30 metres. Two months later, on December 19, he became Roma's all-time leading scorer after netting his 107th career goal against Parma, breaking the record previously held by Roberto Pruzzo. As a striker with Spalletti, Roma's new coach for the 2005 Euro 06 season, Luciano Spalletti, went with a 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 formation. In this formation, Totti would not remain forward waiting for crosses or passes but instead go back to take the ball, thus creating space for the attacking midfielders. In this new position, Totti began to score more frequently than the past and scored 15 goals in 24 matches. At one point during this streak, the team won 11 consecutive games. In the spring of 2005 he renewed his contract until 2010 with an annual salary of a 5.4 million. In January 2006, on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum held in Davos, Pella Copyright spent words of praise for Totti, defining him the best player in the world. On February 19, 2006, he suffered a fracture of his left fibula and ligament damage during a match against Empoli after being fouled by Richard Van Aglee. Totti risked missing the 2006 World Cup, but returned to the side on May 11 as a substitute in Roma's 3 Euro 1 Coppa Italia final defeat to Internazionale. A metal plate had been attached to his ankle during surgery, but doctors decided not to operate again and remove it following Totti's return 
after concurring that it would not affect his gameplay. He was given off-label treatments of teriparatide to speed his fracture recovery. The 2006 Euro 07 season was a personal high for Totti, as he finished as Serie A's top scorer with 26 goals as Roma finished runners-up to Inter but exacted revenge on the Nerazzeri as they took home the 2007 Coppa Italia. Totti also was the recipient of the ESM European Golden Shoe Award as the top European goal scorer. Despite being the highest active goal scorer in Syria, he was not among the finalists for the 2007 FIFA World Player of the Year due to his national team absence, though he was nominated for the 2007 Ballon d'Or, finishing 10th in the voting. Totti scored his 200th goal with Roma in a 4 Euro 0 victory against Torino and Coppa Italia, on January 16, 2008. He was named the Italian Footballer of the Year for the fifth time in his career on January 28. The following month, on February 24 he reached 386 appearances in Serie A with the Gila Rossi in the match against Fiorentina, equaling the record previously held by Giacomo Alessi, Roma captain of the 60s. He managed to surpass the record, on February 27, in the following match against Inter. Francesco Totti so became the player with most appearances in Serie A in the history of Rome. On March 9, in Napoli Roma, he collected the 500th overall presence with the shirt of Roma, among other things, signing the second goal on a penalty kick. He suffered a season-ending injury to his right knee during a 1-1 draw with Livorno on April 19. Tests revealed a tear of his ACL that required surgery, making him miss four months. Roma won their ninth Coppa Italia with a 2 Euro 1 victory over Internazionale on May 24. Though Totti did not play, he was still allowed to lift the cup as the team's captain. With this win, Totti became the most successful captain in team history. At that time, he has won five titles and ten runners-up medals. In the 2008-2009 season Totti recovered readily from the previous injury, thus becoming protagonist in the derby in the game against Lex and in the home match against Fiorentina. In the Champions League, he scored against Cluj and the second goal in a 2-0 win against Bordeaux. On November 8, 2008, in Bologna Roma, he reached the 400 appearances in Syria, scoring the goal of momentary advantage Gialoso. On April 19, 2009, in Roma Lex, he scored his 175-degree goal, surpassing Amedio Amadei and becoming the highest scorer of all time of the Rome. In addition with this goal, Totti entered in the top 10 ranking of the markers of the Serie A Ranieri era, Roma's difficult start to the 2008-09 Euro season and continued struggles at the start of the 2009-10 Euro season saw Spalletti resign after his four-year reign and be replaced by Claudio Ranieri. Totti performed well in the inaugural UEFA Europa League. He has since scored three hat-tricks, first in a 7 a Euro 1 away win against Gent in the third qualifying round and then another with the same score against Co-Ice at the Olympico in the playoff round. He also scored three goals against Bari, after seven years from the last in the Serie A and upon his return from a month-long injury. On November 30, 2009, Totti confirmed he had signed a new five-year playing contract which will see him with the club until 2014 after which he will become a club director for a further five years. The deal was made official by the board of directors on December 16, 2009. Roma offered a gross annual salary of 8.9 m for 2009 Euro 10 and 8.6 m in the next four seasons. He was the highest earning player of Roma in recent seasons until surpassed by Daniel De Rossi in 2012. With a 24-match unbeaten run in Syria, Roma became the only challengers to inter in the last three rounds for the league title, ultimately finishing runners-up after the final fixture. Despite Totti's several injury problems, he surpassed legends such as Gabriel Battistuta, Giuseppe Signori, and Kurt Hamran in the all-time league scoring records. Totti also played in the Coppa Italia final against Inter on May 5, 2010 but received a red card in the closing minutes of the second half for kicking Mario Balotelli. Roma lost 0 a Euro 1, failing to bring home their 10th Coppa Italia. In the 2010 a Euro 11 season, Roma continued their traditional early struggles, 
partly blamed on Rainier's failure to develop a consistent set of tactics, changing both formations and lineups after every week. Though on a personal level, Totti won the Golden Foot Award, Rainier's lack of faith in Totti meant that the captain would face more time on the substitutes bench in favor of Marco Borriello, Mirko Vrainaya and Jar Copyright Ra Copyright Mimenez. This limited playing time resulted in only three league goals and 21 appearances. Following Roma's loss against Genoa on February 20, 2011, Rainieri resigned as manager of Roma and Totti saw his former teammate Vincenzo Montella appoint a caretaker coach. Montella's reign Montella reverted to Spalletti's for a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 system and Totti appeared to find his best performance again. On March 3, Totti has been voted the best active Italian player in a poll conducted by La Gazzetta dello Sport with 100 Italian personalities, including footballers, politicians and showmen, took part in the vote. On March 13, 2011, he scored two goals against Lazio allowing at the Gila Rossi to get his fifth consecutive victory in the derby. On this occasion was born the nickname the King of Rome is not dead, coined at the time of the second goal from the comments of the Northern Irish commentator Richard Whittle, Al Jazeera's correspondent. The following March 20, Totti became the sixth player in Serie A history to score 200 goals, finding the target twice in that two a Euro 2 draw with to raise his total to 201. On May 1, Totti scored a brace against Bari to equal and overtake Roberto Baggio in the total number of goals scored in the league with his 205th and 206th goals. Thus, he became the top fifth all-time Serie A goal scorer behind only Silvio Piola, Guna Nordal, Giuseppe Meza and Jose Copyright Al Tafni. Totti completed a remarkable turnaround in his season, completing the 2010 Euro 11 Serie A campaign with 15 goals a Euro scoring 12 goals in Roma's last 13 league fixtures. At the end of the season, Roma have a revolution with club owner changed from Rossola Sensi to the American consortium led by Thomas Di Benedetto. Under the new management, the club did not offer a permanent contract to Montella, let him to coach another Serie A side Catania and then appointed Luis Enrique, a Barcelona B tactician to build the Spanish-based football style for the club's long-term project. Back to a playmaker with Enrique, the 2011 a Euro 12 season began with Totti getting few starts under Luis Enrique in a year that got off to a rocky start for Roma. He sustained an injury on October 1, 2011 in the second half against Atalanta which kept him out of action until being subbed in at the 66th minute on November 20 against Lex, which Roma won to a Euro 1. During this absence, his presence was sorely missed on the pitch as the Gila Rossi's predominantly new and young team suffered highs and lows in their performances as they grew accustomed to each other. In mid-December, as Totti began regaining form post-injury, his presence became more regular in Enrique's formations, often playing triquetista or attacking midfielder. On December 12 an otherwise strong performance on pitch against Juventus, inclusive of an assist to Daniel De Rossi's opening goal, was marred by missing a second-half penalty. Totti offered up several more assists, notably Pablo Osvaldo's in Roma's 3 Euro 1 win over Napoli at the San Paolo, and De Rossi's goal against Catania at the Marsimano. In the Roma Talesman's deeper position on pitch he doesn't seek out goals as often, opting to rather play more of a supporting role by bridging the attack and midfield, his presence and experience in games offering much needed depth. On January 8, 2012, Totti scored his first goal of the season against Chivo, converting first one penalty in the first half and then another in the second, in a game which ended 2 a Euro 0 for Roma. He went on to score two goals in a 5 Euro 1 win against Cena, which allowed Totti to set a new record as his second goal of the match brought his tally to 211 league goals a Euro, the most any player has ever scored for a single club in Serie A. As the second round of the season begins, Totti's goals remain at four, but his performances continue to convince. And in Roma's 4 Euro 0 win over Inter on February 5, Totti's corner turned into an assist for Juan as he headed in. The opening goal in Roma's dominating performance. As of that game, Totti's stats for the season are eight goals and seven assists in 25 appearances. 
Totti scored his fifth goal of the season in a 3 Euro 1 victory over Udinese. He scored again in a 2 Euro 1 loss against Fiorentina, and two weeks later on his 500th match in Serie A he scored two goals in a 2 Euro 2 draw against Catania at the Olimpico. Zeman's second spell, after Luis Enrique decided to resign due to an unsuccessful season, in which Roma failed to qualify for European football for the first time in 15 years, the club decided to appoint their former manager's Dean Zeman to reunite with Totti again. Zeman tried to put Totti as a left forward in his favourite tactic for a Euro 3 a Euro 3, like he used 13 years ago. On September 2, Totti provided two assists for Alessandro Florenzi and Pablo Osvaldo in Roma's 3 a Euro 1 win over Inter at the San Siro. After the match, he received high praise from the media about his performance, even at the advanced age of nearly 36 years old. Two weeks later, he scored his 216th Serie A goal in the home game against Sampdoria, making him the joint third all-time highest goal scorer in Serie A on October 21. Totti surpassed both Giuseppe Mazza and Jose copyright Altafni joint record after scoring the first of Roma's goals in a 2 Euro 4 away win at Genoa. He scored his third goal in the season against Parma in a 3 Euro 2 loss. On November 4, Totti scored Roma's first goal in a 4 Euro 1 home victory against Palermo, his fourth of the season. On December 8, Totti scored two goals in a 4 Euro 2 home victory against Fiorentina, standing with six goals in the season. On January 20, 2013, Totti scored his seventh goal of the season against Inter from the penalty spot. On February 1, he scored his eighth goal of the season in a 2 Euro 4 defeat to Cagliari and his ninth goal 15 days later, a beautiful 113 km per hour stunner at home against Juventus, the only goal in the match. On March 3, he scored his 225th goal against Genoa to become Serie A's joint second top scorer along with Guna Nordal as Roma cruised to a 3 Euro 1 victory. Totti finally broke Nordahl's record by scoring another goal against Parma, thus increasing his tally to 226 goals. On April 8, with a goal on a penalty kick in the 1-1 draw against Lazio, he becomes the top scorer of all time in the Rome derby with nine goals, on par with Dino da Costa and Marco Del Vecchio. Totti finished season with 34 appearances and 12 goals. Garcia's era, on September 20, 2013, Roma announced that Totti had signed a new contract that will keep him at the club until 2016, at which time he would be 39 years old. He scored his first goal in the 2013 Euro 14 season against Parma in a 3 Euro 1 victory. He followed that with two strikes in Roma's 3 Euro 0 away victory at Inter, helping the team maintain its 100% record after seven games. On November 20 he received the award Captain of Captains by the Association Adaitato in Baker Tilly Revisa. On January 12, Totti returned to the goal at the Stadio Olimpico against Genoa in a 4-0 victory. He scored again on January 26 against Verona in the 3-1 win. Captain of Rome is forced to a stop again about a month for a bruised right buttock. On March 17, 2014, date of his return against Udinese, he scored the first goal of the match and he dragged the team to the final 3-2. On March 25, 2014, at Roma Torino, Totti celebrated 700 appearances overall with Roma. On April 2, 2014, in the recovery of the match suspended in February, he marked his 20th goal in career against Parma in a 4-2 win for the Gila Rossi. He finished the season with eight goals and ten assists that allow him to win the award of Assist Man of the Serie A International Career. Totti first came into international prominence while playing in UEFA youth tournaments. He scored in Italia Euro unregistered trademark S for a Euro 1 defeat by Spain in the final of the UEFA Under-18 Championship in July 1995. Totti won the UEFA Under-21 Championship in 1996. In the final match, he opened the scoring in a 1 Euro 1 draw against the Spanish before triumphing on penalties. After starring with the Azzurri in Italy's under 19 and under 21 sides, 
Totti earned his first cap for Italy during a Euro 2000 qualifying victory against Switzerland on October 10, 1998. Euro 2000, Italy went to Euro 2000 with Totti in excellent form. He scored two goals during the tournament. The first goal came against co-host nation Belgium in the first round, the second against Romania in the quarter-finals. His confidently chipped penalty in the semi-final shootout victory over the Netherlands was named as one of the magic moments of the tournament. Though Italy lost to France in the final, Totti was named the man of the match and was selected for the 22-man team of the tournament, 2002 World Cup. After being handed the number 10 shirt and Italy's playmaking duties, much was expected of Totti in his dark copyright but World Cup. However, disappointment followed at the 2002 World Cup, with Totti failing to make a significant impact and then being sent off during Italy's second round loss to South Korea after being handed a controversial second yellow card by Byron Marino for an alleged dive in the penalty area. Euro 2004 Totti acquired a measure of infamy at Euro 2004 after he spat at Danish midfielder Christian Poulsen in a goalless draw on June 14, 2004. He was subsequently banned until the semi-finals, but never made it back to action and finished the competition scoreless due to Italy's elimination in the first round. 2006 World Cup Totti recovered in time to join the national team for their victorious 2006 World Cup campaign despite not having had much match practice during his three months on the sidelines recovering from injury. Marcelo Lippi showed enormous faith in Totti, assuring him during his rehabilitation that his spot in the Azzurri World Cup team was secure and to focus on recuperating. This encouragement and show of faith fueled Totti's desire to work even harder to overcome what could have been a career-ending injury and make it to the World Cup against all odds. Totti did recuperate in time and in fact played the entire time in Germany with metal plates in his ankle that had yet to be removed following the surgery. Nonetheless, he was a fixture in Marcelo Lippi's side, playing in all of Italy's seven games. During the tournament he played along with Andrea Plo behind lone striker Luca Toni, forming a dangerous attacking midfield pairing. Totti finished the tournament with the most assists of any player, as well as scoring a single goal via a penalty in Italy's 1 Euro 0 round of 16 win over Australia on June 26. In recognition of a successful tournament, Totti was selected for the 23-man All-Star team. Retirement Totti intended to retire from the Azzurri after the end of the World Cup but reneged on his decision and remained undecided on his future for over a year, not being called up in the meantime. He made his retirement official on July 20, 2007, at the beginning of the 2007 Euro 08 Serie A season, in order to focus solely on club play with Roma. Then Italy coach, Roberto Donadoni attempted to get Totti to change his mind for the remaining Euro 2008 qualifiers but was not successful. After the national team reunited with Marcelo Lippi, Totti announced that he would play in the 2010 World Cup finals in South Africa if he got called up. However, there was no official statement released from Totti or Lippi about a possible comeback. In the event, Totti was not named in the final squad, and Italy was subsequently eliminated, finishing last in their group, their worst ever group stage result in World Cup history. Diego Maradona and former national teammates Fabio Cannavaro and Gianluigi Buffon said one of the reasons for Italy's early exit is that the Azzurri lack creative players like Totti. In March 2013, the current Italy coach, Ser Prandelli stated that he would consider Totti's comeback for 2014 World Cup. In October 2013, Prandelli said, Totti is in fantastic form. His condition right now does make you reflect. If the World Cup was around the corner, I would have no doubts and would absolutely call him up. But we will evaluate the player's condition one month prior to the World Cup. However, at the time of the choice of 23-man Italian squad for the World Cup, Italy coach excluded the striker of Roma, receiving numerous criticisms by the entire Italian football movement. Among these, also Cafu, a former Brazilian footballer of Roma and Milan, who he has revealed that he would have liked to see Totti competing for Italy at the World Cup in Brazil and that he prefers the Roma captain over Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Without Totti, 
Italy was eliminated in the first round for the second consecutive time after South Africa 2010, finishing third in his group. Style of play Throughout his long career at his hometown club, Roma, Totti has predominantly played in the role of the attacking midfielder playmaker or a second or deep lying forward, behind the main striker. Only in the later years of his Roma career was he mainly employed in the role of a main striker. Totti has also been employed as a winger under Garcia, and most notably as a false nine under Spalletti. While being an accurate finisher, he primarily serves as an assist man and a creator of plays, his role has at times been described as that of a hard-working, generous, quick and dynamic centre-forward. During his two-year period with Steen Aixemann, during the 1997-1998 season, Totti underwent an athletic development. In fact he decided to perform a muscle strengthening to adapt to the rhythms of 21st century football, gaining physical strength, stamina, fitness, and shooting power, to the detriment of some of his agility. His principal characteristics are his great creativity and vision of the game, his ball control and dribbling, his precise passing, and his powerful and accurate shooting. Totti is also an accurate penalty kick and set piece taker. He is also able to consistently provide killer balls to strikers, occasionally through his trademark use of the back heel. Totti has also performed the Kakieo chip, which roughly translates to spoon in English, and has often used this gesture on penalties. His most famous lobbed goal, was probably the legendary one he scored against Inter, where he dribbled past Mortarazzi before chipping the ball over a hapless Julio Caesar. That particular goal was voted as the best goal in Serie A in the 2005 June season. Another glorious goal using this technique, was his goal against Lazio in the Derby della Capitale, which ended 5-1 in favour of Roma. Because of his penchant for scoring goals using this particular gesture, the title of his 2006 autobiography Talto Totti, Moje Faccio or Cacchiel references this technique, as well the statement made to his Italy teammates before his Euro 2000 semi-final shootout penalty against the Netherlands. Goal Celebrations Totti is known for his exuberant and humorous goal celebration. His most famous celebration took place on April 11, 1999 in the second derby della Capitale of the 1998-99 Euro season, in which he scored during the final minutes of the game and celebrated by flashing a t-shirt under his jersey, which read Vijo Pagato Ankara, in reference to events at the previous derby against Lazio on November 29, 1998 when Totti helped Roma come back from 3 Euro 1 down with an assist to Marco Del Vecchio for 3 Euro 2 and finally a goal of his own for 3 Euro 3. Another derby goal against Lazio saw him take over a sideline camera and aim it at the Roma fans. Totti's displayed numerous message t-shirts under his jersey over the years, including two for his wife Six Unica, and Six Sempre Unica, and a political one Liberate Giuliana in honor of Giuliana Screener, an Italian journalist kidnapped in 2005 by insurgents in Iraq. The most recent shirt's message was Schizate il Ritardo, which he flashed on January 8, 2012 in an apology to fans for his goal-scoring drought after scoring his first goal of the season versus Chivo. As a tribute to his then-pregnant wife, Ilari Blasi, Totti imitated a childbirth scene by stuffing the ball under his shirt and lying on his back while his teammates extracted the ball. His current ritual of sucking his thumb after a goal began after his son was born and subsequently after the birth of his daughter. Blasi has revealed that Totti sucks his thumb also dedicating his celebration to her, and not only for their children. Personal Life Totti's wife Valeri Blasi is a former showgirl who has been a co-host of Italia One's hit show La Aine since 2007. When the couple married on June 19, 2005 at the Basilica of Santa Maria in Aracoeli, their wedding was aired on television with proceeds being donated to charity. They had their first child, Christian, on November 6, 2005. Their second child, a daughter named Chanel, was born on May 13, 2007. The couple has often been referred to as the Italian Beckhams, and their private lives are often speculated upon in Italian magazines and tabloids. Totti's brother Riccardo serves as his agent and manages many of his brand and business interests, under the name number 10, 
including the Francesco Totti Academy, a football training school, and the Totti Soccer School, which is a soccer camp for children with disabilities. Totti also owns a motorcycle racing team called Totti Top Sport. Totti became a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF in 2003, and the FIFA SOS Children's Villages in January 2006. As a fundraiser for a children's charity, he published two best-selling, self-effacing joke books containing jokes the locals often told about him and his teammates. Some of the jokes were filmed in short sketches featuring himself with good friends and national teammates Alessandro Del Piero, Gianluigi Buffon, Christian Vieri, Antonio Cassano, Marco Del Vecchio and Alessandro Nesta and former national team coach Giovanni Trapattini in a short show called La Silentima di Totti. On 16 January 2008 he appeared as a Euro OE paper Totti Euro in a famous comic book. The proceeds of the subscriptions were given as a gift for charity. The Roma captain was the official testimonial of a Euro OE Partita del Correa Euro, charity match between singers and VIPs played on 12 May 2008 to promote a fundraising for the construction of the A Euro OE Campus Productivo della Legalita e della Solidarita Euro. Totti also collects jerseys from teams around the world. In 2003, after a Six Nations rugby match between Italy and Ireland, Irish players Brian O'Driscoll and Dennis Hickey each received a Totti jersey in exchange for their own shirts. Totti launched his official website http www.francescatotti.com slash. In November 2009, where his professional stats, blog, merchandise, and related articles can be found. Television, Cinema and Publicity In 2002, Gianni Agnelli, Fiat Principal Executive, who is a lifelong fan and the ex-president of Juventus, chose Totti to publicize the launch of the new Stilo instead of a Juventus player. In 2004 he was testimonial Nike and he is featured on the cover of Pro Evolution Soccer 4 along with Thierry Henry and Italian referee Pierluigi Colina. Between 2005 and 2008 his sponsors changed in Diadora and he became testimonial of Pepsi Twist, with a video filmed in the camps of Trigoria by director Gabriel Machino. As of May 2006, he was the testimonial for a series of advertising spots of the telephone company Vodafone. On December 2006 he participated with his wife Valeri Blasi at the Italian dubbing of an episode of the television series The Simpsons entitled Marge and Homer Turn a Couple Play, in which he lent his voice to Buck Mitchell. In 2007 he appeared in the movie Law in 8 or Nelp Alone 2 in the role of defense attorney. Since 2008 he has participated many times in the television program C.A. Poster per T.E., in the second series of the Italian fiction Cesaroni, in the reality show Grand Fratello 8 and an episode of Paper Asima. In September 2008 came out at newsstands in the Lazio region a collection of figurines dedicated to him entitled Francesco Totti, the captain. In February 2010, Totti was named ambassador for online poker company Party Poker. In May 2010, he presented in Rome, with the actor Russell Crowe, the special edition of the film Gladiator, produced by Universal Pictures in honor of the football team AS Roma to celebrate the 10th year from the exit of the famous film. Since December 2013, after almost 10 years, he was again chosen as a testimonial Nike for the duration of two years. In his honor were dedicated others to murals, sponsored by Nike, and situated to Rome. Career Statistics, correct as of May 18, 2014. Club Career one European competitions include the UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League. Two other tournaments include the Supercoppa Italiana, competition statistics, Serie or 561 appearances, 235 goals, Coppa Italia 53 appearances, 17 goals, Supercoppa Italiana 5 appearances, 1 goal, UEFA Champions League UE 50 appearances, 16 goals, UEFA Europa League UE38 appearances, 21 goals, FIFA World Cup 11 appearances, 1 goal, UEFA European Championship 6 appearances, 2 goals, international career. International goals, honours. Club, winners, Serie A, 2000 Euro 01, Supercoppa Italiana, 
2001, 2007, Coppa Italia, 2006 a Euro 07, 2007 a Euro 08, runner-up, Serie A, 2001 a Euro 02, 2003 a Euro 04, 2005 a Euro 06, 2006 a Euro 07, 2007 a Euro 08, 2009 a Euro 10, 2013 a Euro 14, Coppa Italia, 2002 a Euro 03, 2004 a Euro 05, 2005 a Euro 06, 2009 a Euro 10, 2012 a Euro 13, Super Coppa Italiana, 2006, 2008, 2010, International, Winners, UEFA European Under-21 Championship, 1996, Mediterranean Games, 1997, FIFA World Cup, 2006, Runner-up, UEFA European Under-18 Championship, 1995, UEFA European Championship, 2000, Individual, Garandoro, 1998, 2004, Serie A Young Footballer of the Year, 1999 Euro 2000 Team of the Tournament, Serie A Footballer of the Year. 2000, 2003, Italian Footballer of the Year, 2000, 2001, 2003, 2004, 2007, ESM Team of the Year, 2000 a Euro 01, 2003 a Euro 04, 2006 a Euro 07, FIFA 100, Serie A Goal of the Year, 2005, 2006, 2006 FIFA World Cup All-Star Team, Serie A Top Scorer, 2006 a Euro 07, European Golden Shoe, 2006 a Euro 07, USSI Silver Ball, 2007 a Euro 08, Golden Foot, 2010, Ballon Dog, 2000 a Euro 14th, 2001 a Euro 5th, 2002 a Euro nominated, 2003 a Euro 18th, 2004 a Euro nominated, 2007 a Euro 10th, FIFA World Player of the Year, 2000 a Euro 10th, 2001 a Euro 10th, 2002 a Euro 14th, World Soccer Award, 2000 a Euro 7th, 2001 a Euro 4th, 2007 a Euro 7th, records, Serie A active leading goal scorer, 235 goals, Roma all time. Leading goal scorer, 290 goals, Roma all time leading goal scorer in Serie A, 235 goals, Roma all time leading goal scorer in UEFA Champions League, 16 goals, Roma all time leading goal scorer in UEFA Europa League, 21 goals, Roma all time leading goal scorer in UEFA competitions, 37 goals, Roma all-time appearance maker, 707 games, Roma all-time appearance maker in Serie A, 561 games, Roma all-time appearance maker in UEFA Champions League, 50 games, Roma all-time appearance maker in UEFA Europa League, 38 games, Roma all-time appearance maker in UEFA competitions, 88 games. Orders. Fifth class slash night. Cavalier Ordine al Merito della Repubblica Italiana, 2000. Collar of Merit Sports, Collar d'Oro al Merito Sportivo, 2006. Fourth Class Slash Official, Official Ordine al Merito della Repubblica Italiana, 2006. See also, List of One Club Men, Football Records in Italy, References. External Links, Official Website, AS Roma Profile, Lega Serie A profile, ESPN profile, FIGC National Team Archive, Francesco Totti a Euro FIFA competition record, Francesco Totti a Euro UEFA competition record.